Horns up. Good morning. Here we are again. Well, have you got a card? We've got, got another question. I've got another question, um, but I'm not preempting you on this one, okay? Because I like to see your reaction. Oh, it all right. fills me with joy. Um, so again, <laughs> going back to the death back. Um, Deb, what scares you the most about dying? Oh. Right? So is it the fear of the unknown? Is it the pain of the process? Or that it's going to happen too soon? Mm. Oh, okay. At this moment in my life, as we're driving and I'm paying attention to the road, you know what I, I, I guess for me personally is the last one of too soon. Uh, again, at my age and I'm sort of in the midst of a beautiful life and enjoying my children, my husband and my grandkids. And I don't want to go anywhere yet. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I think for some people, it's they can't think about things like that because it's too, it, it, it's just too difficult to think about death and dying. It's it, scary. It's hard to incorporate that into your daily life when you're trying to live so much. And the other piece too, when you mention about dying, like uh, um, you know, happening too soon, it makes me see things that we see at the hospice. So, for example, and again, I'm going to say a, the phrase that we love. There's value in vigil. Mm -hmm. And that means that when you're able to spend time as someone is dying and going through the dying process, you're actually um, preparing for life without them, right? And, yeah. and it's a comfort, it doesn't feel like it in the time, um, but at that moment, you're actually, that person is helping you to go on without them in your life. The grief process starts. Um, I think the too soon thing is more where we worry about not being able to say our goodbyes. We don't follow the wishes of what our person would want because it happens so suddenly and so soon. We see that at hospice and those are the tough ones. But making a plan though helps with this whole dying process yeah. because if you make a plan early enough then part of your goodbyes have already started because you've started a plan these are my wishes having said that so I, you don't know my three sons but if i talk any more about death and dying they're not inviting me to christmas dinner anymore so not everybody wants to have these conversations right? i walked into the house the other day with a box Oh. I went to HomeSense and bought a beautiful decorative oh. box and I walked in and I said, everybody, this is my death box. <laughs> if and should and when something should happen to me and you are around, this is what you're looking for. That was me starting my plan. Wow. What was the reaction of your family? Well, immediately my dad said, where are you going? I said, I don't plan on going anywhere right now. but." should I go someplace and I wasn't ready and nobody's ready for it? You need to look for this box. What a great idea. I love that idea. We need to create death boxes. And you know what? It's part of uh, part of an advanced care plan. Then, it is. Right? Just all in a in pretty spot, little box. All in one place. Yes. I love that. Advancedcareplanning.ca. Thanks for sharing. Start that. making a plan. Get a box and start putting stuff in your box. Can you talk to my boy? I can. Yeah. It might be like a little shoe box, but that's okay. Follow us on social media, Driving Dialogues with Deb and Dam, and make that plan, advancedcareplanning.ca. Give us a call. I'll help you with a death box, 705-549-1034.